afternoon and assalamu alaikum everyone welcome to another episode of quick and easy cooking with mimi featuring the world's best all-in-one super kitchen machine the thermomix today has been a very long day suffice to say i was outside i went to three or four different places and i'm exhausted and normally you know what we do when we're, we're exhausted normally we buy food right me, I'm exhausted and today I decided I'm going to make pineapple jam because Idul Fitri or Hari Raya Idul Fitri is coming up very soon and it's time to make pineapple tarts. So today I'm going to make the jam, tomorrow we make the tarts. Sounds good? Let's get started. Okay, first of all, I'm going to tell you that the recipe has been there all along in Cookie Doo. There's a collection called um, Chinese New Year Recipes. I forgot the exact name, but it's there and you can actually search for it under pineapple tarts. And it's got the ingredients in here. And we just tap on start cooking. That's the wonderful part about having a thermal mix. So we start off with, it asks for 1,500 grams of fresh pineapple. It says approximately two pineapples. Okay, reality check. In Malaysia, pineapples are quite small. And uh, today I bought two Norris pineapples. They cost about two ringgit each now. And guess what? Two pineapples, once it's peeled and um, ice removed, it's about 800 grams only. So this is just an approximation. Go for the weight. This is just for you, for you, for you Malaysian uh, watchers, viewers. You can actually use about four pineapples if you want to fill up your bowl in one go. But uh, I work with what I have, so I'm going to scale down the recipe based on the amount of pineapples that I have. So I'm going to weigh here. The weighing scale has been pre-activated. I'm just going to tap there to make it zero, reset it to zero. And then I'm going to chop it, not, not, not really chop, but cut into smaller chunks so that it's small enough to go through this hole. This is our usual um, measurement. If it's small enough to go through the hole, then it's, uh, it's good enough. So for this one, I'm going to cut it into half, so approximately like that. So our bowl is empty, just to show you, to start off. And as I weigh, I'm just going to give it a quick chop, like maybe one piece, I'm going to chop it into three, three or four, depending. So this should weigh about 800, 850 grams. And as for the sugar later, um, as you know, Norris pineapples normally are sold um, still unripe. So, oopsie, you may want to increase the sugar or you can follow the usual recipe that you use, just that we take advantage of the Thermomix says auto cook and auto stir feature so we don't have to stand over the fire anymore traditionally it takes so long to stand and to stir and then you know the jam will bubble up and burn your hands and it's hot and you're sweaty and Malaysia is so humid it's a pain to be honest I never made pineapple jam until I had the Thermomix because it's so tedious and I'm telling you, the Thermomix is really good for tedious stuff. And for that reason alone, I would tell you, get your Thermomix now. There's still time before Eid. We still have our special promo of 200 ringgit special rebate, instant rebate, simply by making a post on social media with a hashtag love Thermomix. And with that, you get from the standard retail price of 7188, you get 6988. Super easy 200 ringgit instant rebate. And from there, you can choose to pay up to 24 months interest free installments. Or you can pay in full, you pay in cash, and you get a free carry bag worth 380 ringgit that protects the built in weighing scale. And at the same time, you will get a free cookbook, Wholesome Vegan, worth. 160 ringgit so 380 plus 160 that's 540 worth of gifts if you're going for full payment okay so i've got my pineapples and oh interesting it's about 1.1 kg and oh dear i didn't feel my tudong today so it's falling apart never mind 
So now it says insert measuring cup into mixing bowl lid and then this is what we're doing. The measuring cup goes into the mixing bowl lid. And we just turn the speed selector five seconds speed five to chop pineapples. I'm gonna show you how much pineapple we have, okay? That's almost full. And we're gonna chop this in only five seconds. Okay? This is no magic trick. This is live. Five seconds, speed five. Simmering basket to drain off the juice. You can choose how to drain off the juice and um, you can cook it, but then you have to cook it longer. So you can experiment, but for the first time, I would recommend that you, you follow the instructions and just drain off the juice. It is, it's not that much. You can drink the juice later. It's full of vitamin C. You can mix it with orange juice. It's very nice. Pineapple orange or pineapple mango. And that's done. We are working with two Norris pineapples here. So this is the pineapple. And then we don't discard liquids, not in Asia. It says to discard the liquid, but no, Asians don't want to throw away food. So now we have the blended pineapple pulp and then we're gonna add sugar to taste. It recommends 100 grams of sugar, up to you. Depending on your pineapple, how sweet it is, if you're using, say, dull pineapple, maybe you can go for very little sugar or no sugar, but then it will take a, a, a bit longer to, to thicken up because sugar actually thickens it up. And if you want your jam to last longer, you need a bit of sugar as preservative. So you can use whatever recipe you like, or you can start off with a low quantity of sugar, and then you can taste it later and adjust it as you go along. Or you can go by normal, Jam ratio, if you buy jam outside, normally the expensive jams are 50% fruit and 50% sugar, and then okay-ish jams are 35% fruit, and the rest is actually sugar. Yes, if you haven't been reading the labels, that's the reality. So I'm just gonna start with, um, my pineapples are unripe, so I would go with, I'd actually go with 200 grams of sugar. And besides, you need the sweetness also because when you mix it with the pastry later, the pastry won't be so sweet. It won't be sweet, so you need a bit of the sweetness to come from the jam. And then next, uh, one cinnamon stick. Ta-da! And optional, if you're Malaysian or have Malaysian taste buds, you can add some cloves. Bunga, bunga cengke, cloves. Okay, two or three. Or if you're using four pineapples, you can go five or six. And then insert the measuring cup into mixing bowl lid. And 40 minutes, 120 C, turn to speed one, and you leave it. You take a shower, you take a nap, you go and wash the car, bathe your children. 40 minutes, up to you what you want to do. You leave that. Meanwhile, I had one here. I had one cooking just before the show. And I'm gonna take it out now. This is what I always tell people, when you're buying a Thermomix, you are not just buying a machine, you are buying convenience, you are buying extra time for yourself. So I actually had a nice nap there on the couch earlier, see? And my jam cooked by itself, I didn't have to worry about burning, I didn't have to worry about the fire not being turned off because the Thermomix automatically shuts down by itself and I've got perfect, perfect jam. Look at that, perfect pineapple jam. So I'm gonna set this aside and we, we're gonna use this tomorrow to make our tarts. So maybe you can make your own jam tonight and tomorrow we work on the tarts together. It's gonna be fun. Sounds like a plan. Okay, so 
Join in, whoever's joining me in. Kan best ada kawan buat kuih ramai-ramai kan. Dulu kalau nak raya tu masa tu lah nak panggil orang datang rumah buat kuih sama-sama. Tapi dah zaman MCO nak buat macam mana. Social distancing and what not. So let's have a let's have a Zoom kuih kuih making <laughs> activity one of these days. Okay, so this is life with a the Thermomix, super easy. So no need to wait anymore. I know you like it. PM me after the show. And you still have time to get your Thermomix before Raya and practice making rendang. And, and, and as I always call it, rendang baring atau rendang tidur. Because you can lie down and you can sleep while the rendang is cooking away. So there you go. Of course, you don't have to put in the cinnamon stick. You can take it out later. It's just for me to, okay, just to take it out of the picture. So we have a nicer photo. Super easy. Pineapple jam. Auto cooked and auto stirred by the Thermomix. This is your investment. You're investing in time, you're investing in convenience and peace of mind that you won't burn down your house if you fall asleep while making pineapple tart. So if you had fun today, join me again tomorrow, 6 p.m. so we can make our pineapple tarts together. Bye-bye. Assalamualaikum dan selamat berbuka puasa.